but it's just a quadratic equation, and our quadratic equation does work even if our um, coefficients are imaginary. So let's just do it. So we're going to have x, remember it's x equals negative b, so negative 2 plus i plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 2 plus i squared minus 4 times a, which is i, times b, which is, sorry, times c, which is 1, all over 2a, so 2i. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, and there we go. So we just simplify this. We got negative 2 plus i plus, or, or sorry, let's just read that negative, negative 2 minus i plus or minus the square root. If I were to take this part over here, 2 plus i times 2 plus i, and foiled it out, I would get 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2i plus another 2i is plus 4i, plus i squared, and then minus 4i all over 2i. So we get negative 2 minus i plus or minus the square root of just simplifying this, remember i squared is negative 1. So when I do 4 minus 1, I get 3. And then the 4i minus 4i just goes away. So we have that, and it's all over 2i. And we don't like to keep i's in the denominator, just like we don't like to keep square roots in the denominator. So we're going to multiply top and bottom. Uh, you can either multiply by i, or you can do the true conjugate, the negative 2i which actually works out really nicely because when you do the bottom, you'll get two, negative 2i two squared. So negative 2 times negative 1 would be a positive 2. Then you don't have to worry about uh, making the bottom uh, positive. So we'll multiply top and bottom by negative i. That fancy form of 1. So we distribute it to the top. We get positive 2i plus i squared uh, plus or minus i root 3. When the negative goes to this plus or minus, uh, the positive would become a negative and the negative would become a positive, so you still have plus or minus. Don't need to change that. I feel like I'm missing a 2. So uh, here you get, um, changing our i squares to negative 1, we get 2i minus 2 plus, no, minus 1 plus or minus i rad 3, and remember we said the bottom negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. So we're going to write this in its uh, the standard form, a plus b i for, and then b is the imaginary part there. So if we just flip this up into the reals and the imaginaries, we can rewrite this as uh, negative 1 over 2. Uh, and then that's the real part. We've taken care of that guy. And then the imaginary part will be left with uh, 2i plus or minus i rad 3. And that whole thing is being divided by 2 also. So, and then if you just sort of factor out the i from that, take the i out of both of those, scoot it to the side, this part there is what they want, 2 plus root 3.